Do you all love K-pop? If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop musicians that we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. And at this time, I, Ivan. And me, we will closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. Oh my, my K-pop. K-pop. Yes, everybody, the long-awaited time, our friend Neve is in the studio. Hello, 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 I am back. Wow, Neve, we missed you. <laughs> How have you been? Oh, it's been very hectic, mm-hmm. as always, but uh, we're starting a new project on our end. Another new project? New project. So, <laughs> projects. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Plural, so. Anything to spoil? Uh, not yet, but not in, yet. In, in a very short period of time, I will reveal what what's going on. But you know, we initiated uh, new projects. So okay. Be busy with that. <laughs> Looking forward to that, brother. Ah, uh, help. <laughs> but help. Hey, call help. me. Call me anytime. <laughs> If you need some snacks, I'll send you some snacks. <laughs> that sounds good. But anyways, let's uh, jump into today's segment. Mm-hmm, Would yes, you please sir. introduce it? Okay, we will choose the K-pop musician of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, and Ivan and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they loved through our point of view. Mm-hmm. And this show is not only about us, but it's about our participation from our listeners, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, during the middle of the segment, Ivan and I will be side tricks that we like by the artist. Mm-hmm. And for today's K-pop musician, send in the song by them that you want to listen to and also tell us about the reasons why and also how you became their fans. Mm-hmm. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop musician that you want us to closely examine. We will actively reflect your opinions. Yes, everybody. And we also have a very special gift, a personalized video message. So please do send in your stories, all yes. right? Okay, Neve, I think it's about time to jump into today's K-pop musician, which mm-hmm. is drumroll! Very exciting uh, news. Uh, today's K-pop musician is New Jeans. Aha, uh-huh, New so, Jeans! Mm-hmm. Their five-member multinational girl group uh, who debuted on July 22nd, 2022. Mm-hmm. New Jeans debuted a P- EP, New Jeans. The name of the EP is New Jeans. Announced the emergence uh, of a game changer mm-hmm. that will change the K-pop girl group market the pure and natural charms of the members were loved by the public with uh, their youth high teen concept Mm -hmm. and Eugene's won the rookie award of their debut year and the following year uh, they released a single album and a second EP New Jeans not only uh, broadened uh, the musical spectrum but also showed the public how it can grow through new challenges and experiments Mm. among the K-pop artists on Billboard 200 uh, chart uh, they entered Billboard in the shortest period of time since their debut and Uh, its cumulative streaming on Spotify, Spotify has also exceeded 4.2 billion times. Oh my goodness, 4.2 billion. 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 Wow. Mm-hmm. And New Jeans is showing off uh, their potential as representative girl groups of the fourth generation. Uh, they're loved for their unique sound and sensibility and syndrome girl group, uh, New Jeans Music. Let's check them out right now. Exactly. So some musician information here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Prior to their debut, they were actually called Min Hee Jin Girl Group. Mm. Because Min Hee Jin was like a very... I mean, she is a star producer who produced like uh, the successful album for SNSD, Mm -hmm. Shiny, Mm -hmm. FX, like Mm -hmm. all those SM artists. Mm -hmm. And this was a team that she was launching with a totally random company, new company with new rookie members. Mm -hmm. So it was gaining a lot of attention even before the debut. Uh, Interestingly, the meaning of the group's name, New Jeans, is to become an icon of the times, uh, like jeans that never gets old, right? Mm. I mean, who would ever get old of jeans, right? Nope. Never. I mean, everyone needs a new pair of jeans. <laughs> uh, it also refers to new genes from genetics, uh, their determination to open a new era at the same time. Uh, so the official fandom name is called Bunnies. Very cute, isn't it? Bunnies. Uh, with the meaning of the nickname Rabbit, it's like a friend of new genes. Very, very cute. Mm. Uh, new Jeans also released the album with new logos. It shows various designs with unique sensibility of New Jeans, like all these creative ideas, mm. like reforms of icons and everything. And uh, based on the color of the group with pure beauty, retro, and hip hop, the great musical quality is also very well received by the public. Mm. Uh, what's interesting is that New Jeans does not need uh, guide vocals. 
So what is a guide vocal niche? Well, guide vocal is more like a, a person who sings on your behalf for mm. the demo. Right. right. So it's like making uh, a good example of how it should sound. Right. But right. in this case, for New Jeans, they don't listen to the the guide tracks. Mm. They just jump into the recording studio right away and, mm. and start off fresh. Mm. Maybe that adds to their unique tone, right? And that makes them a good vocalist. For themselves. sure, for mm. sure. And you know, this year, they've been attending seven different university festivals, man. Seven. How impressive is That's that? That's huge. They are one of the biggest groups in Korea at this very moment. Mm. Uh, but not only as musicians, but they're also making a mark as fashion and cultural icons, uh, collaborating with so many different brands. Mm. Uh, pretty cool. And um, next, uh, uh, I believe that is next month on the 21st, they'll be releasing their Japanese debut single, Supernatural 2. And guess what? Pharrell Williams, the mm. world renowned pop star, Pharrell Williams, mm. was also named in the album. I think they made the perfect combination choice for uh, you know, working with Pharrell because mm. I, I, I can see the connection. Mm -hmm. Pharrell's huge. Uh, it's it's uh, probably one of the most uh, honorable moments right. for group to uh, collaborate with him. Uh, but also they have uh, this this tight musical connections. Mm -hmm. I, I thought about that when they debuted, and I'm very happy to see that they're collaborating together mm. uh, at this point. And they're both so pop. Right. I mean, they're just pop icons. They're right, so right, right. pop. <laughs> Love pop. Loving it, pop. loving oh, it. Right. Uh, mm. New music information, the title song of the single album, How Sweet, uh, that's released on 2024, May 24th. And it's a dance pop song based on the genre of Miami bass. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a sparkle electronic sound, is uh, very uh, kind of like sticking out in the song, mm -hmm. it's very addictive. And with a stimulating electro sound, uh, it has the unique vocals of New Jeans members. And the music video has been praised for their uh, its sensuous composition uh, aesthetics and hip vibes from the perspective of people and animals. Ooh. Mm. Unfortunately, however, it was classified as age-restricted content on YouTube. Mm. <laughs> I did not know that. Didn't I did not expect that to happen with new jeans. For new jeans, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure if it was intended, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Right? Okay. So, unfortunately, Hain is on hiatus uh, due to an injury during practice. Going one step further from a uh, typical breakup song, lyrics tell the story of self-discovery and growth. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, it's a sad news that the Mangne Hain is taking a break at this very moment. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, a great tune, a very trendy one. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. Here goes New Jeans How Sweet. It's like da, da, ASMR, da, da, isn't it? Da, da. What do you think about da, da, the song, da, 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 da. man? Very addictive. You know, the thing about news and mm -hmm. song is that we always talk about um, hook. Hooks. It's very important mm -hmm. when you compose a song or come up with a new single. Mm. And, uh, you know, we have a ways to pull that off. And then it's normally we tend to write it in a way that's very, very, very kind of like strong lines right the thing about nuisance is that it's very easy listening it type is, of melody is. but for some reason it's just stuck in your head it's like i don't know how to even put this but it's like um when everyone's expecting the drop mm -hmm. they don't give you the drop Mm, it's like mm. it's a very light version of a mm. drop, isn't it? Right, right, mm. right. It's very, very high teen. Mm. Type oh, of high song. teen is perfect mm. wording for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, everyone, we are talking about New Jeans's uh, recent songs, and now we are gonna go back to the beginning of New Jeans uh, era because mm. we are living in their era right now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's begin with the first song, starting from their hits. Their beats are so fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, who's mm -hmm. the beat maker? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh my god, was it you, Neve, again? <laughs> I wish. Because Neve is everywhere, I, obviously. I wish, I wish. So,、uh, this song? This song is Hype Boy. It's、mm-hmm. the second title song of debut album New Jeans released on August 1st, 2022.、Mm-hmm. It's a song that combines RB and electro pop genres,、uh, featuring a cheerful rhythm and addictive melody.、Mm-hmm. And it's a song that contributed greatly to establishing a position as the next. K pop girl group, and it's the one of the longest running songs in the history of Korean pop music.、Mm. And、uh, it made、uh, four versions of the music video. Not only does it capture the fresh and lively image of New Jeans with colorful colors and stylish production, people can enjoy it visually as well.、Mm. And the point dance is heart move, and in the chorus part, members make a heart shape. With their hands, and it's a dance that moves the upper and lower bodies together. Yes. And lyrics are about、uh, <laughs> the fluttering feelings of a girl in love. I read this. It's a dance that moves the upper and lower bodies together.、Uh-huh. I have no idea. It goes like this uh, uh. <laughs> you, you, you move your arm, then you go like you bend、uh-huh. and do the rhythm together.、Uh-huh. Just like that, brother, just、uh-huh. like that. Uh-huh. And you know, I mean, like this song, Hype Boy, was covered by so many people out there、right. doing challenges, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And have you seen any of those like big dance challenges? Yeah,、memes? it's it's everywhere. You so know? so like, you know people... what it is. Yes. You're lying, brother. No, like it's just like describing.、Ah, now that you show、it's... me that, now I know. Yes. <laughs> But <laughs> my eyes are seeing it. Uh huh. My mind is not seeing it. And my brain does not comprehend. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. I love when we talk about dance every time. <laughs> But, anyways, let's take a closer listen to this song, Hype Boy. <laughs> You know,、um, when I listen to this song, it kind of feels holy.、Uh, the intro is like you're in a choir. It's like,、right. it's like a chapel kind of thing, isn't it? <laughs> What's the name of the song? This is called Ditto. It's the pre release song for single Oh My God, released on December 19th, 2022. It's a song based on the UK garage、uh, genre.、Mm-hmm. It has an emotional melody and a sophisticated beat that are in harmony. No wonder it sounds very holy. <laughs> <laughs> and member Minji,、uh, the pla- black shirts, Gom Jung Chima and Woo Hyo participated in writing、I、the lyrics. I didn't know that. Gom Jung Chima was. <gasps> wow, okay. And you can feel the fresh atmosphere of New Jeans. It was loved a lot with easy listening sound, and it made two versions of the music video, and both works have cinematic narratives and sensual direction. And they expressed a New Jeans musical worldview well, and the song entered the Billboard Hot、uh, 100 chart for six months after New Jeans' debut. Wow.、Mm. The point dance is cross hand. Cross hand. And members cross their hands and express the same feelings. Uh, mm-hmm. The title of the song Ditto means same feeling, and the lyrics are about confessing one's feelings to the other person, and it's a delicate expression of a girl in love.、Mm-hmm. Indeed.、Um, this song was also beloved by the public,、uh, both domestically and globally, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And、uh, I love the concept Ditto.、Mm. I, mean, I mean, it, it just、mm. says so much, right? Just by saying Ditto,、mm. I mean, it just. It's just like a full sentence wrapped into one single keyword. Right, and I also want to talk about like how they start the verse. Da, 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 da. It's like, it's the same, it's same as how chorus goes,、mm. but then they kind of like combine with、uh, the verse.、Mm-hmm. It's just a very, very unique way of pulling one song out. Right, and I right, think it's,、right. it's a very clever、um, of.、Uh, Producers、mm. who came up with this. Must agree with you. One of our、uh, listeners, Yang Guru, is saying, Ah, Uyo got c h a m e Kuna, or Junju Uyo Nam Sekananda. Uyo participated in the co writing, and you can definitely sense、uh, Uyo's vibe in this song. Right.、Uh, let's take a closer listen to it together.
naive. Why don't you enjoy dancing? Is it because you're super shy? Yes. <laughs> Another great one. Um, this is called, obviously, Super Shy. It's one of three title songs from the mini album Get Up, released on July 21st, 2023. It's a dance pop genre song that combines house and hip hop elements. Mm-hmm. And it's a trendy song with a refreshing and bouncy charm. And Eugene's members' vocal are uh, full of sincerity and falsetto. And the point dance is shy pose. Mm. And in the chorus part, they put their hands on their mouth and make a shy gesture. Mm. And not only did the music video get a lot, got a lot of views right after it was released. Various reaction videos and cover videos were produced uh, from this song. Uh, and they further spread it, the popularity of the song. And lyrics are about the feelings of a shy girl. I love how like, I mean the concept is so direct. It's like, I'm super shy because I like you. And like this is such a simple lyric, isn't it? Like if, if, you, if you really think about sitting down and writing down your lyrics, mm-hmm. you would try to think of something more sophisticated because you want to look cool or you want to sound unique. Right. But in this case, they're making the most general everyday language mm-hmm. sounding so hip and so new and unique. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, sometimes simple is the best, they say, but then mm. it's very hard to come up with that conclusion. Mm. Um, but then I think the producers behind New Jeans Music knows uh, what the audience and the, what uh, the fans want mm-hmm, for from sure. New Jeans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're very um, also Instagrammable, isn't it? Right. Uh, perfect songs for short form content, mm-hmm. which is definitely the thing in the music market right. at this very point. Friend. Anyways, uh, let's take a closer listen to Super Shy. So these mm. were the three representative songs of New Jeans, uh, starting all the way from their early era, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Right. And by the way, today's K-pop musician is New Jeans. Please send in the song by them that you want to hear, and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan. Yes, that would be great. One of our listeners, uh, Bahar, is saying, Super Shy is a song that makes super shy people not super shy because they will sing along somehow. Right? In a super shy way. In a super shy way. Super shy. Super shy. I like confident <laughs> in a shy way. Uh, that's so I'm true. sure introverted. Probably you guys know what I mean. Like, you, it's like the word is happening in your mind, mm. but then what comes out of your body gesture is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the drop is coming. It's coming. You're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just enjoying it in a very introverted yeah. way. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I believe we have so many listener messages coming in. Would you mm-hmm. mind covering them one by one, please? Uh, yes, sir. So I got the message from Wendy saying, Greeting, hugs, Ivan and Neve. Actually, um, when by chance I saw New Jeans debut on YouTube, I had no idea who they were going to be. Uh, yes, I'm sometimes late on K-pop news now. Um, you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> you're not alone. But their name caught my attention, pun not intended. Uh, and at first, I thought it was going to be a new, fun co-ed indie band for some reason. But discovering that it was a refreshing girl group, wow, it was nice too. Mm. And all their songs become addicting, uh, addictive. Uh, and I grew to like attention. Oh my god! And shy, uh, super shy. And for hype boy, ETA, hurt, and Ditto, mm. I liked since first uh, hearing. And I also like the Honey, uh, the cover is Sarah Kang's, Kang Sara's Once in a Moon. Mm-hmm. And now if someone could do a whole podcast explaining the full storyline of their lore, and that would be great. Uh, thanks for today and happy birthday week, Neve. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Mm-hmm. You are in for a treat because today uh. we are giving you all the detailed information about new jeans and by the way yeah, I sincerely also enjoy the um, uh, Honey's cover of Once in the Moon by Sarah Khan I have not checked that oh, out so yeah. so good let me uh, read out another message coming mm-hmm. in from Yunabi Yunabi said happy birthday earlier right thank you uh, but continuing on it says I love new jeans songs they kind of remind me of my college juniors 
Uh, New Jeans girls are so cute and talented. It's really difficult to select a song. Uh, so I close my eyes and pick the song, and it is ETA. Uh, it takes me back to my uh, UG days. One of the girls in every gang trying hard to save their friends from red flags. Ooh. Mm. Have you ever heard some gossip like this or been a part of gossiping Ivan and Neve? Thank you for reading my message. Ivan and Neve says, Yun Abi. Mm, great choice. Great choice. You're right. Do you mm. actually have a story related to gossiping? Have you been a target of gossips or ever be, been a part of a gossiping gang? Like the mean girls, you know, or the mean boys? Oh my. It can be a deep story, but <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Because we yes. all did, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what's good is to have a friend who really saves you from the red flags? What? I mean, it's like, you know, when, when your partner, I mean, when your friend is going out with someone who's a red flag, like a bad person, right, right, right. it's important to have friends next to you who can say, like, 정신 차려, man, wake up. Mm. And that's not the right guy for you. Or, or somebody who can put the red flag guy or girl to sleep for once in a while. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Make them not speak. Make them not sleep, but uh, okay. We're making this into a horror film? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about, you know, nothing grotesque. Okay. But like, you know, it's, it's about silencing. Silencing. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, they can, they can need various, uh, they will need various tactics, but, you know, it's the tactics that I won't be able to reveal <laughs> on this show. Uh, yeah. we, we will talk about it during the song break. How about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyways, uh, any more messages that you want to read? Yes. Out? So um, I got the message from Crash Override. I started down the road of K-pop with other groups like Blackpink and Red Velvet, but I caught New Jeans right after their debut with Attention and High Boy. Mm. Both songs inevitably uh, get played on my hour-long or more car drives. When Ditto and Oma, uh, OMG came out, I loved these girls even more and couldn't stop listening after, ever after. I honestly couldn't just request just one, but it forced two. I pick High Boy because I couldn't stop listening to it all summer. I must agree. Mm -hmm. Hype Boy. Man, who right. would not like listening to Hype Boy? Mm. <sighs> great, great tune. It's, it's everyone's favorite. So For sure. Um, another message, probably the mm. last one. Um, Esther Warwin saying, Hello, Ivan and Neve. I was so surprised to have won the video prize last week. And on Friday, mm -hmm. uh, I was able to watch it. Thank you very, very much. My family is also very happy with me. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, by the way, uh, a colleague uh, told me yesterday that I looked happy even though I had a lot to do. Thank you for your wish for me. This time I have a question for Neve. What do you like to do in your free time apart from your music? Happy Tuesday, Esther. Well, this is going to take forever to answer your <laughs> question. But, you know, uh, something other than uh, doing music, uh, simply, I would say drive. Driving. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool you're, for drive. But, I, guys, just to give us information, Neve works while driving because he's always monitoring his his uh, demos and like <laughs> well i enjoy well, that's maybe that's the point right <laughs> right right I mean, it's, it's good it's better than just staying home the whole day right mm -mm, for sure mm -mm. Uh, but anyways thank you for all the lovely messages that you have sent in thank you uh, so much. we do have to choose out a song right mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. our listeners it's a head and b-side track selection uh, would you please do the honors to go first neve so of course. Mm -hmm. The reason why I said uh, Abinaya picked the, the good choice is because I picked the exactly same song. <gasps> it was. That's ETA. What's your ETA? <clears throat> What's your ETA? <clears throat> so yeah. basically, mm. the reason why I chose the song is not, you know, it is a popular song, but at the same time. So this song is included in the second mini album. Mm -hmm. It's called Get Up, right? And. <clears throat> uh, First of all, the the song was produced by you know famous Yo Gong. Oh yeah, two five mm -hmm. zero, right? Two five zero. So he debuted his like full career with New Jeans, I believe. Mm -hmm. But he's been around, you know, he's been around for a long time, right. and then uh, he's been doing music for a long, long time, and he's been known to uh, kind of like go into deep mountain or something to <laughs> to really study in trot uh -huh. genre. Trot? Trot, yes. Ooh, that's cool. So he released a, 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 a compilation album uh, that's all about trot. Really? Yeah, so you, you should check him out. So uh, he did the track for this song and then mm -hmm. uh, the, end, uh, the beginning of the track, it actually sounds like trot to oh, me. Oh, it does. It does sound like trot. But people, many people probably not... Uh, 
get the idea of it. Mm, but then mm, you know, mm, mm. I'm I'm pretty used to trot genre, so. Mm-hmm. That kind of gave me a very interesting perspective point of view when I listened to the song. And also, um, how they did the melody, yes. they did the uh, composition of the melody was uh-huh. very, very high teen. Was it? Yes. Mm. And very, very, um, it's a unique style. So mm. these two unique combination kind of made ET happening. And on top of that, you know, the song is about really, it's like... Uh, If teenagers had a conversation mm-hmm. about their crush, mm. this song would be it. <laughs> right, for sure. For so sure. it's a very, very, very high teen song with the trot uh, influenced mm. track. Right. So you're saying that the producer 250 has like a trot background to himself and uh-huh. it really shows off in the beat? Right. So- he, he, I think he did the, this like. Um, performance oh. of him just doing the trot session oh, I didn't know that I gotta check that out he's a, he DJs too he's a very very unique uh, so cool. uh, individual and also I've mm-hmm. al- almost forgot Benzino participated right. in writing songwriting right 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 right, 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 right. For so sure. that's, that's one of the other interesting and the lyrics points. are also really unique it's like when your friend this was like sick When this friend couldn't come, something was happening. It's like a very unique way of narrative, storytelling. They story even telling. mentioned the name of the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the person, like c h i w o n i Hewoni. Right, c h i w o n i Hewoni, and it was really, really cool. It's mm. like, it's really, it's, it feels like you're sneaking into a diary of a teenage girl right. trying to save the friend, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is um, definitely, definitely a cool point. Um, ETA, I also love the fact that they actually use a self-cam in the music video. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like a mise-en-scene. But then right. when they came back, they also kind of brought their phone on the stage as if they were rehearsing the music video on live broadcast. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that was also quite unique. Right. The thing about n e w s i n s as mm. well, you know, this, this also has to do with their entire promotion tactic. I think um, they had all, everything about n e w s i n s was very unique and still is. Mm-hmm. And one of the promotion tactics that they did was really teen-friendly right. uh, tactic they did. Mm-hmm. You know, when they released the first album, they actually made the album into a uh, mini bag. Right, right, right. The bunny-looking Mem- bag. Right, right. Uh-huh. right. So it, uh, they kind of like um, combined mm. the concept of album with merchandise. Right, right, right. But then right. that didn't feel industrial at all. That mm. felt like, it just felt like a new... brand right they are literally <laughs> setting trends right right so i would say they are like the the leader of uh high teen trends oh high teen pop trend right like. right right pretty cool would you please uh do the honors to introduce the next song for our listeners yes sir this is eta by n e w s i n s It really does sound like a trot. Right. It, it definitely the has beat that itself. aspect in it. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Because if you listen to uh, the modern, the latest uh, trot songs nowadays, mm-hmm. they sound very popish, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do definitely understand your point of view by saying there is a trot aspect and like the hippest retro beat coming together, mm-hmm. forming this new jeans vibe. Right, definitely. right. And the song does not follow... Mm. The typical, the trendy, the, the sounds uh, mm-hmm. method mm. per se. You know, if you compare the song to any other songs that's mm-hmm. released by different idol groups, uh-huh. especially, uh, none of the sound matches actually. Ooh, this comes from the track maker's point of view. Ah, I see. None I of see. the synth uh, EP sound. Uh, maybe some EP sound, but then the, the kick usage, everything is very retro, but at the same time, very raw. Mm. Um, and the genre usage was very different. I think also the top liners, top liners, as I mean, uh, what I mean by that is, you know, a uh, musician uh, who writes the melody. Right. So, top liners. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think um, it's. Pretty much, I felt like this was done by um, 
top liners who is not aware of trot genre. Ah, for sure, for sure. That's how this song mm. became very trendy. That's uh, how I feel. Uh. I mean, it's like a perfect example of a crossover genre, isn't right? It? Really, just ga- bringing together people of different backgrounds and coming up with this magnificent tune. Mm-hmm. But here's the question: mm-hmm. One of our listeners, Leonardo, is asking, "Neve Trot album when?" <laughs> Probably never. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Uh, who knows in the near future you might bring in these like retro uh, trot kind of vibe into your song and make something cool out of it. Uh, yes. If that's the case, mm. I would. But then if you're talking about the full-time trot ah. album, I believe an artist has to come up with something that speaks their heart. Uh, Maybe mm. I'll put some aspect of trot in my song. Good point. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good point. Uh, I do want to read one more listener message. We mm-hmm. have Rusi writing in saying, Hello, Ivan and Eve, who doesn't know New Jeans? Uh, they have some iconic songs that catch your ears. Very addictive, and you cannot not dance to their songs. And the more I, I listen to their song, the more I like their vocals. So unique. All right, I watched the preview of Two, two Days, One Night, and they'll be coming as a guest on the show. Cannot wait to see them next week. Oh! <gasps> Ilbagir, they'll be guesting in Ilbagir. That is amazing because it's really difficult to see new jeans like in these like variety. big variety right, shows, right, right. right? I mean, they've been on talk shows, but looking forward to it. And uh, Rusi is also adding Hype Boy, Attention, Ditto, Super Shy, ETA, OMG uh, are most likely songs that we always listen to. But I also like one song from their EP called Cookie. Cookie. And Rusi, I must say, we are on the same page because today I am recommending <laughs> Cookie, Nigga Man and Cookie. So that's your choice. Yes, that mm. is my choice for today. Um, this song is included in the first EP album, again, called New Jeans. Mm-hmm. And when they first released the album, I sat down, turned on the whole album, just like, like scratch to right, till the right. end. Um, and my absolute favorite bias was Cookie. Mm, do you have the reason why? Uh, the reasons would be, it's just, uh, you know, New Jeans did bring out that teenage vibe, right? Mm-hmm. And the lyrics went so well together. Mm. And especially for me, when I listen to a song, I do refer to the melody and the tracks too. Mm. But I do pay a lot of attention to the lyrics. Mm. And just by using this cookie and making it like a, a kind of um, symbolizing it as a source of dopamine. Mm-hmm. Like uh, whether you're tired, whether you're hungry, whether you're like, I don't know, full, whatever, you'll end up searching for this cookie that I made for you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really refers to that dopamine, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I mean, it's such a trendy way to blend in like food, music, and then like the short form dopamine addicts that we like we are nowadays. Right. Like they're putting together all these social aspects and being so um, uh, so clever with this idea. I, I always wondered, um, this is my weird part, like mm-hmm. weird self, just being me, me, being me. But when I listened to the song, mm-hmm. I was just purely wondering, what kind of cookie was it? Probably is it, chocolate. Is it chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> I hope it, it was. Like, kind of like, um, White macadamia? <laughs> or like something like raspberry. Kind oh, that would like be cool too. Oat cookie. Oat cookie? Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> I, actually, I sat in my room uh-huh. and for probably 10 to 20 minutes, uh-huh. I was just imagining mm-hmm. what kind of cookie would New Jeans cook? Mm, I see your point. I see your point. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to leave it up to your imagination. It could be any different flavor that you want for now. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it is already time to wrap up the show. Already? Can you believe it? It's already time. Uh, so I do want to send you off with this last song, mm. Cookie by New Jeans. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you have fun today, New? Yes, I did. I think on the way, I'm going to get some cookie. Oh, I sh- hey, we should both go downstairs we and should. grab some co- uh, coffee and cookie. Coffee and cookie. Right? Sounds that would nice. be amazing. Anyways, we'll um, that is it for today. I believe uh, we also have a big artist that we're going to be talking about next week, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and we will also be uh, forced... <laughs> <laughs> and we have the responsibilities to choose out uh, the artist too. Right? I mean, the song from the artist too, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm um, looking forward to it. Guys, please do check out our Instagram account for our uh, future uh, artists that we are going to bring forward. Next week's artist, right? For sure. Anyways, mm-hmm. so I'm sending you off with the last song, Cookie by New Jeans. And yours truly, Ivan. And mm-hmm. bye-bye. Have a cookie day. Bye, never stop you. Bye.
Thank you for listening to today's Oh My K-Pop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in more information about the segment itself, please make sure to visit our official website, www.arirangradio.com, and click on Super K-Pop page.